Welcome to the Blood Physiology, the Blood Typing Lab. Okay, so for this lab, you're going to need a lancet holder again, a sterile lancet, you're going to need a toothpick, and a blood typing card. Also, you'll need a cotton ball and some peroxide to clean your finger, and you'll also need some antibodies. This one right here, I'll put it this way, has antibodies against the A antigen in a blood type A person. This has antibodies against the B antigen for someone who has blood type B, and this is antibodies against the RH factor for someone who has RH antibodies, I'm sorry, antigens, on their blood cells. Okay, so let's get started by cleaning our finger first. Okay, clean the finger, clean the finger, clean the finger. All right. Okay, that's clean, ready to go. Take the cap off your lancet. Put the lancet in the holder. All right. Cap that lancet again. Cock it. It's ready to go. Oh, that hurt. No, it didn't really hurt at all. Okay, I got a little bit of blood. I'm going to put it where it says to put blood on the card. So I'll squeeze it again. Don't pass out on me now. Squeeze it again. Boom! Okay, let's clean that finger off. Now, before anything dries on that card, I'm going to add the antibodies. So here's anti-A. All right. Here is anti-B. The suspense is killing you, isn't it? All right. And the anti-RH is here. Okay, we are ready to go. Now, this is what the toothpick is for. I'm going to mix the blood and the antibodies together. So I use the clean end of this toothpick. Then I'm going to turn it around, use the clean end of the other one. All right, and now I've run out of clean ends, right? Nope. <laughs> okay, and then mix the two here. Now, the, what we're looking for is we're looking for coagulation or agglutination. What will happen when an antibody meets the antigen that it's designed against is that antibody will cling to that antigen and cause a whole bunch of clumping that's called agglutination. And so if you see agglutination, it means it's a positive reaction and your blood carries that antigen on it. Okay, so I'm gonna rock this card because rocking helps speed the process. Ah. I see agglutination. Can you see agglutination? Okay, let's look here. This, see those little flecks in there? That is agglutination. Let me rock it and you'll see it a little bit better. I have RH antigens in my blood. Okay, now in this well and in this well, the A and the B, I do not see any agglutination. So what that means is there was nothing for the A antibodies or the B antibodies to react with. That means I lack A antigens and I lack B antigens. Do you know what blood type that makes you if you lack both of those antigens? You're going to have to answer what blood type that is as part of your uh, blood typing questionnaire. So again, no agglutination in A, no agglutination in B, but I have agglutination in the RH well.